That's going to be a brilliant battle today between uh, Frederick Traub and Meg Hutchins, the experienced campaigner, the kid who's making a debut, former All-Australian under-18 player in Frederick Traub. I'm really excited by that. Here's Frederick Traub again, this time against King in the Ruck. Kasla taken down by Randall with a good strong tackle. And it was a pivotal battle in Game 1, and Kasla pretty much had the honours against Chelsea Randall, didn't she, which is rare. She absolutely did, and Randall, I don't think she's happy about being kept to four disposals only in that first game, so she'll be one to watch today. She won't uh, take that line down. She's one of the stars of the women's game, Chelsea Randall. This is Daisy Pearce, who's another fantastic career she's had so far. Four-time best and fairest in the women's league here in Victoria, and that's another good strong mark taken by Frederick Traub. She's been impressive early. Absolutely, and, and look, every time they're going inside, she's always thereabouts, and Look, she, I think she's going to be, be a problem for them today because I don't think they've got anyone apart from Emma King that can match them on height, but they're not going to send their ruck down into their, their back line, I don't think. So let's keep an eye on how Frederick Traub goes today. She played basketball, soccer, school footy. She moved to South Frio for university. She's really enjoying her football. She goes back and slots the opening goal of the game. Melbourne have got 1-1. The dogs are rather very dangerous on the counter. They can get the opportunity in space, but it's Pierce inside 50. Great delivery to Harris. She takes it 35 out directly in front. That's good speed and good strength work from Taylor Harris. And I think she might have been matched up on Talia Randall, the uh, the debutante, the 17-year-old. So interesting age matchup there with uh, Talia normally more being a, a sort of a, a tall wing or a ruck. So Harris kicked a goal in the opening game in May. She launches this one. Looks good off the boot, and it is. The D's have got the opening two goals of the game. There's the celebration. That's terrible. <laughs> well, they've been working on the finer details of training during the week, clearly. I do hear their roommates on the camp, so who knows? Lee Blackburn. Aggressive kick. Bounces off Randall, opens the door now for Bowers, and she's away. She's got some space. Kiara Bowers runs to 50, floats a handball over the top to Bentley, steps inside the tackler. Now Frederick Torb could go over the top, just spotted Harris at the last minute. But she puts it through nonetheless, and the D's have got another. Just the precise disposal of Melbourne at the moment. They're out playing the Bulldogs. They've just been a bit untidy and giving the ball back. Yeah, and they're up. Their confidence is there, and they're just taking the game on, and uh, their pressure's been relentless. It's going to Cara Dinellon. Was that Kelly Marie Gibson involved in that one again? She likes a bit of a push and shove, Kelly. We saw that in the first game. Dinellon inside 50. Harris over the top, or Frederick Traub once again there. Tall Towers doing the job. To take a pick. And Sabrina Frederick Traub will go back for goal number three. She's been doing a lot of work this year on her strength, but she's also been working with an athletics coach for the past sort of eight weeks to work on her sprints, and she's been fantastic over the first 20 metres. Maybe not quite so good over 100, but the 20, she's been great, and, and she's really working on that space and using that strength well today. Three-time youth girl, All-Australian. Kick on its way for goal number three. She's got it.
So three goals to Sabrina Frederick Troll. 18-year-old playing previously at the Peel Thunderbirds. And as I mentioned, she moved to Fremantle to go to university. So she's now playing with South Frio. Bulldogs at the moment. But to Bulldogs' credit, they're really stalling in that midfield section. Lawrence again. O'Day dropped the mark. Goes back and fetches it herself. Good overlap run now from Miller, who takes off through the back edge of the square. Puts it in front of Harris. One-on-one -on -one with O'Connor. Harris kept her feet, did well to a one-on-one. -on -one. That's Randall versus Kasler. Randall gets to the football first, turns inside, works the angle beautifully and kicks the goal. Super goal this from Chelsea Randall. Used her speed and ran the angle really smart. Oh, she absolutely did. Inside 50, as you can see, trying to fill those gaps. But somehow, sneaking out to the side is Bree White. She chips it over the top to Bentley, and that's a really well-worked entry from Melbourne. And that's exactly what the, D's, uh, the dogs aren't doing, sorry, when they go inside 50, composed. They're, looking for, they're not looking for a free option. Every kick is under pressure, and uh, the Ds can just orchestrate that in their forward half. So Kirby Bentley... Former netballer, played with the West Coast Fever, was a mentor at the Wirrapunda Foundation. Kirby Bentley Cup in WA for young girls. So she gives back to the community. And here she gives Melbourne another goal. First blood in the third turn for the Ds. So Kirby Bentley, three-time All-Australian, and she's a fly-in, fly-out mining worker in Drill and Blast. She's got an interesting background.